Ezra. Chapter, 1. Now in the first year of Cyrus king of Persia, that the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah might be fulfilled, the Lord stirred up the spirit of Cyrus king of Persia, that he made a proclamation throughout all his kingdom, and put it also in writing, saying, Thus saith Cyrus king of Persia, The Lord God of heaven hath given me all the kingdoms of the earth, and he hath charged me to build him an house at Jerusalem, which is in Judah. Who is there among you of all his people? His God be with him, and let him go up to Jerusalem, which is in Judah, and build the house of the Lord God of Israel, he is the God, which is in Jerusalem. And whosoever remaineth in any place where he sojourneth, let the men of his place help him with silver, and with gold, and with goods, and with beasts, beside the freewill offering for the house of God that is in Jerusalem. Then rose up the chief of the fathers of Judah and Benjamin, and the priests, and the Levites, with all them whose spirit God had raised, to go up to build the house of the Lord which is in Jerusalem. And all they that were about them strengthened their hands with vessels of silver, with gold, with goods, and with beasts, and with precious things, beside all that was willingly offered. Also Cyrus the king brought forth the vessels of the house of the Lord, which Nebuchadnezzar had brought forth out of Jerusalem, and had put them in the house of his gods. Even those did Cyrus king of Persia bring forth by the hand of Mithridath the treasurer, and numbered them unto Shishbazer, the prince of Judah. And this is the number of them, thirty chargers of gold, a thousand chargers of silver, nine and twenty knives. Thirty basins of gold, silver basins of a second sort four hundred and ten, and other vessels a thousand. All the vessels of gold and of silver were five thousand and four hundred. All these did Shishbazer bring up with them of the captivity that were brought up from Babylon unto Jerusalem. Now these are the children of the province that went up out of the captivity, of those which had been carried away, whom Nebuchadnezzar the king of Babylon had carried away unto Babylon, and came again unto Jerusalem and Judah, every one unto his city. Which came with Zerubbabel, Shua, Nehemiah, Syria, Relaya, Mordecai, Bilshan, Misbar, Bigvai, Reham, Bana. The number of the men of the people of Israel. The children of Parash, 2172. The children of Shephesha, 372. The children of Ara, 775. The children of Pahathmoab, of the children of Jeshua and Job, 2,812. The children of Elam, 1,254. The children of Zado, 945. The children of Zake, 703 score. The children of Bani, 642. The children of Babai, 623. The children of Asjid, 1222. The children of Adonikam, 666. The children of Bigvai, 2056. The children of Adin, 454. The children of Adar of Hezekiah, 90 and 8. The children of Bezai, 323. The children of Jorah, 112. The children of Hashem, 223. The children of Jibar, 90 and 5. The children of Bethlehem, 120 and 3. The men of Netapha, 50 and 6. The men of Anadhoth, 120 and 8. The children of Ismaveth, 40 and 2. The children of Kerjatharim, Chephirah and Beroth, 740 and 3. The children of Rama and Gaba, 620 and 1. The men of Mikmas, 120 and 2. The men of Bethel and Ai, 220 and 3. 
the children of Nebo, 50 and 2. The children of Magbish, 150 and 6. The children of the other Elam, 1250 and 4. The children of Haram, 320. The children of Lod, Hadid, and Ono, 720 and 5. The children of Jericho, 340 and 5. The children of Sinat, 3630. The priests, the children of Jedea, of the house of Jeshua, 970 and 3. The children of Immer, 1050 and 2. The children of Pashur, 1240 and 7. The children of Haram, 1017. The Levites, the children of Jeshua and Kadmiel, of the children of Hodavia, 70 and 4. The singers, the children of Azaf, and 120 and 8. The children of the porters, the children of Shalom, the children of Ader, the children of Talman, the children of Akub, the children of Hadida, the children of Shobai, in all an hundred thirty and nine. The Nathinims, the children of Ziha, the children of Hashukva, the children of Tabaith, the children of Kuros, the children of Siaha, the children of Padon, the children of Lebanon, the children of Hagaba, the children of Akub, the children of Hagab, the children of Shalma, the children of Hanan. The children of Gadel, the children of Gahar, the children of Rhea, the children of Rezin, the children of Nekada, the children of Gazam, the children of Ua, the children of Basi, the children of Basse, the children of Asna, the children of Mahunam, the children of Nephuzim, the children of Bakbuk, the children of Hakupha, the children of Harhur, the children of Basluth the children of Mehida, the children of Harsha, the children of Barkos, the children of Sisera, the children of Tama, the children of Nesia, the children of Hatifa, the children of Solomon's servants, the children of Sotai, the children of Sepharoth, the children of Peruda, the children of Jala, the children of Darkan, the children of Gadel, the children of Shephisha, the children of Hadal, the children of Pochereth of Zebaim, the children of Ami. All the Nathanims, and the children of Solomon's servants, were three hundred ninety and two. And these were they which went up from Telmela, Telharsa, Cherub, Adan, and Immer, but they could not shew their father's house, and their seed, whether they were of Israel. The children of Delia, the children of Tobia, the children of Nekada, six hundred fifty and two and of the children of the priests, the children of Habiah, the children of Kaz, the children of Barzillah, which took a wife of the daughters of Barzillah the Jalidite, and was called after their name. These sought their register among those that were reckoned by genealogy, but they were not found, therefore were they, as polluted, put from the priesthood. And the tears hath us said unto them, that they should not eat of the most holy things, till there stood up a priest with Urim and with Thummim. The whole congregation together was forty and two thousand three hundred and three score. Beside their servants and their maids, of whom there were seven thousand three hundred thirty and seven, and there were among them two hundred singing men and singing women. Their horses were seven hundred thirty and six, their mules, two hundred forty and five. Their camels, 430 and 5, their asses, 6720. And some of the chief of the fathers, when they came to the house of the Lord which is at Jerusalem, offered freely for the house of God to set it up in his place. They gave after their ability unto the treasure of the work threescore and one thousand drams of gold, and five thousand pound of silver, and one hundred priests' garments. So the priests, and the Levites, and some of the people, and the singers, and the porters, and the Nathanims, dwelt in their cities, and all Israel in their cities. And when the seventh month was come, and the children of Israel were in the cities, the people gathered themselves together as one man to Jerusalem. 
Then stood up Shua the son of Josadak, and his brethren the priests, and Zerubbabel the son of Shealtiel, and his brethren, and builded the altar of the God of Israel, to offer burnt offerings thereon, as it is written in the law of Moses the man of God. And they set the altar upon his bases, for fear was upon them because of the people of those countries, and they offered burnt offerings thereon unto the Lord, even burnt offerings morning and evening. They kept also the Feast of Tabernacles, as it is written, and offered the daily burnt offerings by number, according to the custom, as the duty of every day required. And afterward offered the continual burnt offering, both of the new moons, and of all the set feasts of the Lord that were consecrated, and of every one that willingly offered a free will offering unto the Lord. From the first day of the seventh month began they to offer burnt offerings unto the Lord. But the foundation of the temple of the Lord was not yet laid. They gave money also unto the masons, and to the carpenters, and meat, and drink, and oil, unto them of Zidon, and to them of Tyre, to bring cedar trees from Lebanon to the sea of Joppa, according to the grant that they had of Cyrus king of Persia. Now in the second year of their coming unto the house of God at Jerusalem, in the second month, began Zerubbabel the son of Shealtiel, and Shua the son of Josadak, and the remnant of their brethren the priests and the Levites, and all they that were come out of the captivity unto Jerusalem, and appointed the Levites, from twenty years old and upward, to set forward the work of the house of the Lord. Then stood Shua with his sons and his brethren, Cadmiel, and his sons, the sons of Judah, together, to set forward the workmen in the house of God, the sons of Henadad, with their sons and their brethren the Levites. And when the builders laid the foundation of the temple of the Lord, they set the priests in their apparel with trumpets, and the Levites the sons of Azaph with cymbals, to praise the Lord, after the ordinance of David king of Israel. And they sang together by course in praising and giving thanks unto the Lord, because he is good, for his mercy endureth forever toward Israel. And all the people shouted with a great shout, when they praised the Lord, because the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid. But many of the priests and levites and chief of the fathers, who were ancient men, that had seen the first house, when the foundation of this house was laid before their eyes, wept with a loud voice, and many shouted aloud for joy. So that the people could not discern the noise of the shout of joy from the noise of the weeping of the people, for the people shouted with a loud shout, and the noise was heard afar off. Now when the adversaries of Judah and Benjamin heard that the children of the captivity builded the temple unto the Lord God of Israel. Then they came to Zerubbabel, and to the chief of the fathers, and said unto them, let us build with you, for we seek your God, as ye do, and we do sacrifice unto him since the days of Ezerhaddon king of Assur, which brought us up hither. But Zerubbabel, and Shua, and the rest of the chief of the fathers of Israel, said unto them, Ye have nothing to do with us to build an house unto our God, but we ourselves together will build unto the Lord God of Israel, as King Cyrus the king of Persia hath commanded us. Then the people of the land weakened the hands of the people of Judah, and troubled them in building. And hired counselors against them, to frustrate their purpose, all the days of Cyrus king of Persia, even until the reign of Darius king of Persia. And in the reign of Ahasuerus, in the beginning of his reign, wrote they unto him an accusation against the inhabitants of Judah and Jerusalem. And in the days of Artaxerxes wrote Bishlam, Mithridoth, Tabil, and the rest of their companions, unto Artaxerxes king of Persia, and the writing of the letter was written in the Syrian tongue, 
and interpreted in the Syrian tongue. Rehum the Chancellor and Shimshai the scribe wrote a letter against Jerusalem to Artaxerxes the king in this sort. Then wrote Rehum the Chancellor, and Shimshai the scribe, and the rest of their companions, the Dinaites, the Afarsathchites, the Tarpalites, the Afarsites, the Archevites, the Babylonians, the Susanshites, the Dehabites, and the Elamites. And the rest of the nations whom the great and noble Asnapper brought over, and set in the cities of Samaria, and the rest that are on this side the river, and at such a time. This is the copy of the letter that they sent unto him, even unto Artaxerxes the king, thy servants the men on this side the river, and at such a time. Be it known unto the king, that the Jews which came up from thee to us are come unto Jerusalem, building the rebellious and the bad city, and have set up the walls thereof, and joined the foundations. Be it known now unto the king, that, if this city be builded, and the walls set up again, then will they not pay toll, tribute, and custom, and so thou shalt endomage the revenue of the kings. Now because we have maintenance from the king's palace, and it was not meet for us to see the king's disianur, therefore have we sent and certified the king. That search may be made in the book of the records of thy fathers, so shalt thou find in the book of the records, and know that this city is a rebellious city, and hurtful unto kings and provinces, and that they have moved sedition within the same of old time, for which cause was the city destroyed. We certify the king that, if this city be builded again, and the walls thereof set up, by this means thou shalt have no portion on this side the river. Then sent the king an answer unto Rehum the chancellor, and to Shimshai the scribe, and to the rest of their companions that dwell in Samaria, and unto the rest beyond the river, peace, and at such a time. The letter which ye sent unto us hath been plainly read before me. And I commanded, and search hath been made, and it is found that the city of old time hath made insurrection against kings, and that rebellion and sedition have been made therein. There have been mighty kings also over Jerusalem, which have ruled over all countries beyond the river, and toll, tribute, and custom, was paid unto them. Give ye now commandment to cause these men to cease, and that this city be not builded, until another commandment shall be given from me. Take heed now that ye fail not to do this, why should damage grow to the hurt of the kings? Now when the copy of King Artaxerxes' letter was read before Rehum, and Shimshai the scribe, and their companions, they went up in haste to Jerusalem unto the Jews, and made them to cease by force and power. Then ceased the work of the house of God which is at Jerusalem. So it ceased unto the second year of the reign of Darius king of Persia. Then the prophets, Haggai the prophet, and Zechariah the son of Iddo, prophesied unto the Jews that were in Judah and Jerusalem in the name of the God of Israel, even unto them. Then rose up Zerubbabel the son of Shealtiel, and Shua the son of Josadak, and began to build the house of God which is at Jerusalem, and with them were the prophets of God helping them. At the same time came to them Tatnai, governor on this side the river, and Shetharbosne, and their companions, and said thus unto them, Who hath commanded you to build this house, and to make up this wall? Then said we unto them after this manner, What are the names of the men that make this building? But the eye of their God was upon the elders of the Jews, that they could not cause them to cease, till the matter came to Darius, and then they returned answer by letter concerning this matter. The copy of the letter that Tatnai, governor on this side the river, and Shetharbosne, and his companions the Afarsachites, which were on this side the river, sent unto Darius the king. 
they sent a letter unto him, wherein was written thus, Unto Darius the king, all peace. Be it known unto the king, that we went into the province of Judea, to the house of the great God, which is builded with great stones, and timber is laid in the walls, and this work goeth fast on, and prospereth in their hands. Then asked we those elders, and said unto them thus, Who commanded you to build this house, and to make up these walls? We asked their names also, to certify thee, that we might write the names of the men that were the chief of them. And thus they returned us answer, saying, We are the servants of the God of heaven and earth, and build the house that was builded these many years ago, which a great king of Israel builded and set up. But after that our fathers had provoked the God of heaven unto wrath, he gave them into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar the king of Babylon, the Chaldean, who destroyed this house, and carried the people away into Babylon. But in the first year of Cyrus the king of Babylon the same king Cyrus made a decree to build this house of God. And the vessels also of gold and silver of the house of God, which Nebuchadnezzar took out of the temple that was in Jerusalem, and brought them into the temple of Babylon, those did Cyrus the king take out of the temple of Babylon, and they were delivered unto one, whose name was Shishbazer, whom he had made governor. and said unto him, Take these vessels, go, carry them into the temple that is in Jerusalem, and let the house of God be builded in his place. Then came the same Shishbazer, and laid the foundation of the house of God which is in Jerusalem, and since that time even until now hath it been in building, and yet it is not finished. Now therefore, if it seem good to the king, let there be search made in the king's treasure house, which is there at Babylon, whether it be so, that a decree was made of Cyrus the king to build this house of God at Jerusalem, and let the king send his pleasure to us concerning this matter. Then Darius the king made a decree, and search was made in the house of the rolls, where the treasures were laid up in Babylon. And there was found at Ekmetha, in the palace that is in the province of the Medes, a roll, and therein was a record thus written. In the first year of Cyrus the king the same Cyrus the king made a decree concerning the house of God at Jerusalem, let the house be builded, the place where they offered sacrifices, and let the foundations thereof be strongly laid, the height thereof three score cubits, and the breadth thereof three score cubits. with three rows of great stones, and a row of new timber, and let the expenses be given out of the king's house. And also let the golden and silver vessels of the house of God, which Nebuchadnezzar took forth out of the temple which is at Jerusalem, and brought unto Babylon, be restored, and brought again unto the temple which is at Jerusalem, every one to his place, and place them in the house of God. Now therefore, Tatnai, governor beyond the river, Shetherbosne, and your companions the Afarsachites, which are beyond the river, be afar from thence. Let the work of this house of God alone, let the governor of the Jews and the elders of the Jews build this house of God in his place. Moreover I make a decree what ye shall do to the elders of these Jews for the building of this house of God, that of the king's goods, even of the tribute beyond the river, forthwith expenses be given unto these men, that they be not hindered. And that which they have need of, both young bullocks, and rams, and lambs, for the burnt offerings of the God of heaven, wheat, salt, wine, and oil, according to the appointment of the priests which are at Jerusalem, let it be given them day by day without fail. that they may offer sacrifices of sweet savors unto the God of heaven, and pray for the life of the king, and of his sons. Also I have made a decree, that whosoever shall alter this word, 
let timber be pulled down from his house, and being set up, let him be hanged thereon, and let his house be made a dunghill for this. And the God that hath caused his name to dwell there destroy all kings and people, that shall put to their hand to alter and to destroy this house of God which is at Jerusalem. I Darius have made a decree, let it be done with speed. Then Tatnai, governor on this side the river, Shetherbosne, and their companions, according to that which Darius the king had sent, so they did speedily. And the elders of the Jews builded, and they prospered through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Ido. And they builded, and finished it, according to the commandment of the God of Israel, and according to the commandment of Cyrus and Darius and Artaxerxes king of Persia. And this house was finished on the third day of the month Adar, which was in the sixth year of the reign of Darius the king. And the children of Israel, the priests, and the Levites, and the rest of the children of the captivity, kept the dedication of this house of God with joy. And offered at the dedication of this house of God an hundred bullocks, two hundred rams, four hundred lambs, and for a sin offering for all Israel, twelve he goats, according to the number of the tribes of Israel. And they set the priests in their divisions, and the Levites in their courses, for the service of God, which is at Jerusalem, as it is written in the book of Moses. And the children of the captivity kept the Passover upon the fourteenth day of the first month. For the priests and the Levites were purified together, all of them were pure, and killed the Passover for all the children of the captivity, and for their brethren the priests, and for themselves. And the children of Israel, which were come again out of captivity, and all such as had separated themselves unto them from the filthiness of the heathen of the land, to seek the Lord God of Israel, did eat. and kept the feast of unleavened bread seven days with joy, for the Lord had made them joyful, and turned the heart of the king of Assyria unto them, to strengthen their hands in the work of the house of God, the God of Israel. <laughs>